Hey everybody, I'm back with one of my videos and guess what I'm speaking about today? It's about the language that leaders are using. And uh, let me just clarify here that I am not making this video to personally attack somebody. No, I'm not doing that. But I am doing this completely from the point of view of communication. As a student of communication, my duty is to tell young leaders who actually take training from me where I go into their classes and give them training to tell them what to speak and what not to speak when they are in full public glare. Now recently what has happened is that there have been a lot of leaders, supposed leaders, I don't know whether they are leaders at all, they have been mudslinging, they have been speaking ill about each other. Now in politics, it has become a very natural thing to go ahead and speak ill about and one leader or the other, if they are the opposition, even better, they go ahead and do a lot of mudslinging, which is not good. It is very important to maintain dignity. It is very important to maintain a proper language when you are communicating what words, the kind of words, sorry, the kind of words you will be uh, you will be saying to the public because the public is looking at you for my young leaders out there who aspire to become the leaders of the future you are already leaders I have always told you that in your class you are already leaders so when you want to become leaders of the country in the future remember one thing your language will show your education your language will show how you have grown up and what is that what is the kind of language you use for human beings for people for everyone around you because the minute you have a language which is not um, up to the mark which does not have uh, which does not have a tone of respect for another human being then you are not using the right language whether it's in politics, in education, in entertainment or anything at all, it is important for you, my young leaders, to use the proper language. Any kind of mudslinging is improper. Now, you wouldn't like if anyone calls you a monkey or a donkey or any kind of uh, a, a term which is not appropriate to your personality, right? You wouldn't like it. So definitely, the other person who you are calling a monkey or a donkey would not like it if you do such name calling so for my young uh, young young leaders you might have noticed that in the recent past the 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 television channels social media everything is rife with a lot of vulgar language with a lot of language which is not in etiquette which is a, a lot of a lot of language which is not proper for for anyone to hear or to learn because i am very worried about the kind of language that you might pick up from these people and let me tell you one thing please do not i this is my request please do not pick up this kind of language from any kind of leaders who are there in a political meeting or anywhere where they are giving a bhashan in a rally or in some meeting or anything if they are saying something which is improper which is uh, which does not which is not good for the years or which is um, which is harmful or which which can bring about strife which can bring about conflicts which can bring about arguments which can bring about hatred don't pick up that language because when you pick up that language you will carry it ahead and that's that's a negative kind of a language that you will pick up so when you carry that language you are going to carry it over to other people and then other people are again going to look at you with an eye of uh, suspicion as to where you got your education from where where you were raised what kind of school you went to and uh, here I'd like to say one thing is that it's very important that you have a proper language because otherwise when you don't have a proper language towards your opposite party towards uh, the opposition towards a person that you're having a debate with even if it's in a in a, in a tv channel or anywhere in a in social media as well if you do not deliver your words with respect towards the other person then you are disrespecting your parents because that will show 
that your parents did not teach you well because my mother taught me one beautiful thing and she is my guru she is my teacher she taught me one thing that even if your enemy comes home even if your enemy comes home treat that person with respect and treat that person with a cup of tea and some snacks now this is what i have learned from my mother and i have made it a point that i am going to do this if per chance anybody comes into my house someone who has done me harm as well she has told me to forgive and treat that person with respect and if if that person happens to come home now recently we have seen a lot of mudslinging in, in, in politics and uh this has become a worry for me because i am a student of communication and i would not prefer young people of the country of my state to pick up this language and use it in their daily uh in the daily conversations which is going to be very harmful because instead of picking up a sophisticated language children would be picking up a language which they hear on television which they hear on radio or on social media they read it on social media or they watch videos on social media or whatsapp and then they see this uh, kind of vulgar language that is being uh, thrown at other people by the leaders by the so called leaders of the country and the state now this has become very rep it's extremely reprehensible and i would like to request through my video i would like to request all leaders to kindly maintain their dignity because even though it's the time of elections and you desperately want to call somebody else a monkey or a donkey or a, a, a thief or a dacoit or a robber or any kind of um, any kind of word which is not parliamentarian or not parliamentary then i think uh then i think you should rethink i would request you not to use these words because in that way you are going to be teaching other younger people to also carry on with that kind of a language and that would be very very disappointing for me as a trainer as a motivator as a person of communication to uh, to hear such language from young people if per chance um i happen to meet any of them and then they come up with such crass crappy Uh, not worth it language at all so i will request all of you all of you parents also to maintain your calm when you are having a fight also with each other to please kind of have parliamentary language with each other with the husband and wife the father and mother any kind of and then you know if you use unparliamentary words uh, which are not eloquent to your children they will pick it up and then they will use it elsewhere so it is our duty as parents as teachers as motivators as counselors as empaths to to show the world that we can have arguments we can have differences but at a very dignified level at a very sophisticated level not not in the way that we have fights on the streets not where we are mudslinging not uh, in a way where we can hurt the other person sentiment so i'll request you once again through this video to please maintain that dignity it's election time let us show our sophistication let us show that we come from um a, a, come from a very educated background and let us give respect to our parents who were our greatest teachers because any kind of bad language is actually disrespect to our parents let us maintain that as usual i would like to request all of you to subscribe to my channel on youtube and if you happen to like it uh please share my video and of course press the uh, bell icon so that you can get my regular updates and of course i will always tell you that i love all of you so much my best wishes are always with you that you or become a very dignified and very wonderful and sophisticated person for the future because i am somebody who is dedicated to making you future leaders and that is my wish and my prayer with a lot of love i'm going to say bye and i'm going to come back with another video very soon see you then